What's up, YouTube? It's your man, GQ, and I'm going to tell you why the Real King absolutely sucks. I know I'm going to ruffle a few feathers. I know I'm going to ruffle a few feathers with this one. But I'm going to tell you why the Real King absolutely sucks as a first bagger. Everybody knows I have a Road Glide, I have a Road King. I've also owned the Street Glide, so I have a lot of experience with all three of the touring bikes from Harley Davidson. But this one right here should not be your first bagger. First, it has the least amount of space out of all of the touring bikes, okay? Yes, you got your standard saddle bags, just like any other Harley touring bike. You don't have the glove boxes like the Road Glide. You can easily throw things in there like keys and garage door openers and so on and so forth. The Street Glide, while it doesn't have the same amount of space that the Road Glide has, it has a little bit where you can at least put your phone and stuff in there in the back window. But with the Road King, you have no place to put your phone. So you absolutely have to get something to mount your phone on if you want to keep it on your bike. So the second reason why this bike sucks as a first bag, it does not block the wind like your other touring bikes. The bat wing has been a staple with Harley Davidson for years. It blocks wind. The shark nose with the road glide, the best in my opinion. The Road King is open. Now, a lot of people like that. A lot of people like the open feel. But I'll tell you what, when you're on the highway and you're riding, you get hit with a lot of stuff. You get hit by debris, rain, but just put a windshield on it. Just put a windshield on it. Just put a windshield on it. I have a windshield. Even with the windshield, yes, it blocks debris and it deflects some wind, but it does not deflect wind to the point of the bat wing or the shark nose. And when the wind blocks off of the Road King windshield, it comes directly around to the sides and creates a funnel of air that spins around in front of you. Now, I know you see plenty of bikers and those who have long beards and things like that, you will see that that air just pop up. So they have to add fork deflectors and some other things to help diminish the wind that comes around in that little funnel. The third thing, the third reason why the Road King sucks, and it should not be your first bagger, is that it does not have the creature comforts that the Road Glide and the Street Glide has. Having creature comforts allows you, especially if this is your first bagger, to become more comfortable with the bike. With the Road King, you don't have cigarette lighters to charge up different things like that. You have to create or plug in things straight off of your battery. You don't have a radio. Now, yes, you can add music to it, but it does not come standard. And it doesn't come with a tachometer to measure when you should be shifting, especially if you're a new person. Now, me, I've added one, but if you ride long enough, you can pretty much tell when it's time for you to shift. But gee, why do you have a Road King if it sucks so bad? Well, to be quite honest, the Road King is like my hot ride. The Road King is my bike where I get on and I have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I'll take it a couple of hours here and a couple of hours there, but for the most part, it's for cruising around the city for me. I have it hopped up pretty good. I got a built 110 motor on it. It's pretty fast and it's lightweight. I can't do that that quickly with my road glider. So I like it in that instance. But at the end of the day, what you decide to buy with your hard earned money is totally up to you. I personally would not get a Road King for my first bagger. I would get a Street Glide or I would get a Road Glide, especially if you're trying to do, or you plan on doing a lot of touring on your motorcycle, just because, like the things I said, it has a lot of those creature comforts, like the radio, like the cigarette lighter, so you can plug uh, things up in, and uh, it blocks wind at a greater rate than the Road King. That being said, what do y'all think? In the comment section below, let me know what you think. Do you think the Road King is a great first bagger? Or would you suggest somebody to get a Street Glide or a Road Glide? And why? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't checked out my Road Trip playlist, because it's going down this summer, you can go ahead and check that out right here. And it's your man GQ, the leader of the Peace Army, telling you guys to be safe, be cool, and most importantly, be you and peace out until we meet again.